You know, I never really think of myself as being involved in politics, so to speak. You know, I, I, I'm a father. Uh, I'm, I'm passionate about the future for my children. And I think that when I look at the landscape, uh, President Obama has enacted the kind of legislation and tried to move forward on the kinds of policies that I believe in the future are going to take our country in the right direction. We have a president now who has the country's best interest at heart and I want to see that he gets to continue to do that good work. When you talk about top-down versus inside-out, top-down being let's give the super-rich a break, which has never worked, as opposed to going right to the heart of the matter, going right to families who are, are struggling, middle-income families that, that need support. That's the kind of infrastructure that I think makes this country really strong. I think we have a president who you can look at his policies and dealing with an obstruction this Congress has still been able to push many things forward. We need to give him the ability to continue to do that. It's very important that we get everybody out, everybody uh, canvassing the streets, doing what they can, getting on the phones, uh, trying to make sure that we don't go backwards in this country. It's kind of cliche, but it's true. If you don't vote, you don't have the right to complain. So don't disenfranchise yourself. You know, avail yourself of this right that was fought for and people died for and, and, and be a part of this election. You will see it happen. You will see your participation pay off in a very meaningful way if you do.